Hey everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me. Today I got a question for everybody. I was wondering about PSA, BGS, or SGC. We know that PSA is the big boy in the grading community. Everyone uses them. It's great for the flippers. It's the flippers delight. Great population report. They got nice slabs. They're nice and thin. Uh, you can, uh, it, it's pretty much like you're holding a raw carding grain. It's a nice thin slab. And then we got BGS. To me, they're more of like a foo-foo company. They got the uh, thick slabs, durable, great for the collector. You know, they, these guys like to display these, show them off to their, their buddies at the polo club. And it just, it, it's a great company. And then we have SGC. It's the, uh, everybody's, is the people's company. Everyone likes SGC. We've been doing SGC reveals for the past uh, year or so. Everyone likes their slabs. They're a great company. My thing is, I heard that uh, PSA is uh, opening up a big, uh, big facility on the East Coast. They're going to expand their grading capabilities, and they're also lowering their prices. This week, I heard BGS doing the same. They're caught up with their uh, with their back order, and they're going to probably lower their tiers. They already lowered a little bit, but they're going to go back down. SGC has been with us from the beginning. When it was rough with PSA and BGS, SGC was always with everybody. My question for everybody, once the prices go down to a normal range, I don't know what a normal range is going to be, but it used to be 10 to 20 bucks. If PSA is at 10 to 20 bucks, if BGS is back to 10 to 20 bucks, are we going to be loyal to SGC? I'm thinking a lot of people are going to take that and say, thank you, little guy. It was great. You helped us out when it was rough. But we're going back to the PSA and to the BGS. I, for one, will probably be going using all three companies. I've always used BGS. I have a lot of slabs, probably over 600 cards graded through BGS. I like their slabs. I like uh, the display. But I'm a collector. I like the, I like the collecting uh, part of it. The PSAs, I'm, I haven't done too many PSA submissions. But they're great for the flipper. If they do lower their prices, are we going to kind of kick SGC to the curb? What are you guys going to do? What do you think about that? Are we going to stay loyal to them? Are we going to keep throwing them out of business? They're probably going to have to drop their prices dramatically once PSA and BGS get down to that price. It still might be great for us, but it, as a, an investment, PSA would be the one. As a, a, a collector... The BGS slabs do look a lot better. For me, if they would upgrade their label, make it look a little bit presentable, they would have a better chance competing with the two top dogs. But I really think that uh, everyone's going to move on and forget about SGC, which is going to be bad. But it's not cool to them to, after all they've done for everybody and just pushing it and 15-day turnaround period, that we, we kick them to the curb. What are you guys planning on doing and what's everybody's thought on that? That was just the thing I was thinking about today. Short little video. I have some SGC uh, uh, submission coming in uh, this week. I think within the next couple days. I'll put those up. I got a 10 card reveal. Uh, just put your thoughts in the comments down. And if you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that. I thank everybody for joining me. Catch you on the next one.